So guys, as you all know, you're welcome to Facts Only or Yoruba Facts Only on Eleda TV with your boy, Mr. Facts. So today we are talking about one of the Asia or the, the one of the ancient Yoruba kingdoms that we have. It is in Oshun State. I guess more of you must have guessed it. We're talking about Ileife. Ileife is an ancient Yoruba city in the southwestern part of Nigeria. It is dated back around 500 BC. That means the city of Ileife, I don't know if it's still a town, but Ileife has been in existence in 500 BC, way before Christ. I wonder how they lived then, if they were still wearing leaves or maybe they were naked and sampling each other's whatever. Okay. And it's the oldest Yoruba city. It is presently the part of Oshun State. And it's home to Nigeria's most prestigious, uh, hey, English, forgive me, prestigious university. Oba for me, Aoluwo University. I wish I went there, sure. <clears throat> and it's actually it's an area in Nigeria that produces vegetables, grain, tobacco, and cotton. Now, Ilef is actually where most Yorubas believe they all migrated from, considering the English meaning of Ileife. They were like that was the first place Oduduwa land, landed, and that's where all every Yoruba states they started like exploring, moving to other areas and forming their own settlements. So it's believed that every Yoruba person on earth came from that part of part of Yoruba land. Mm. And the name actually Ileife means place of dispersion, like place where people meet and everybody, like I said, every other person starts creating something for themselves and according to history it was said that Yoruba Ileif was actually founded by Oduduwa and Obatala both of them Oduduwa and Obatala when they created the world it was said that Oduduwa at least it was said I don't believe that Oduduwa founded the world out of clay he was the first divine king of the Yoruba people now history actually tells a different story right it tells a different story. It will make me digress a bit to the story of Princess Moremi. A little, pardon me, let me say this. Now, according to history and certain historians, it was said that this Ileife was actually where Igbo people were. And yes, I've met someone who told me when she traced her ancestry, they were actually from where modern day Anambra states. So I think historians have some sort of truth to it because like, that was where Igbo people actually stayed. And if you look at the life of uh, Princess Moremi, from moving and the things that she did, she actually came across, quote-unquote, Igbo people, the Marx people she talked about. If you read her history and have spoken to any historian, the Marx people you talk about, and it's, Igbos are known for wearing those kind of costumes or attires during war and stuff. So they sort of moved them there and maybe they became Yoruba so somehow they left Ileife and those there are Yoruba but I know I've seen someone who is from who is full Yoruba her dad and mom and she said they are originally from Anambra state if you when she traced her ancestry so I guess that's why let me not go into much details now it was said that when Igbos were there Oduduwa and his army invaded them from the north and pushed them way into the east and after Oduduwa, his sons, the descendants of his sons, the Shah kept on conquering other areas that they could. Now, the current dynasty we have in Nigeria today is about eight centuries old. Then the ruler of Ileife, 
He said, ah, Yoruba language, on an obvious. Oba ati ye ye eni to ogunusi. I know I murdered it. I murdered it. I just, just pick, pardon me. Pardon me. Look at the info. Focus on the information. Don't be unfortunate. Sure. Uh -huh. Now, if it's famous for its art, I've been to it once, but I couldn't see this. I saw it from afar and I could get close to the staff of Dua because I actually wanted to research more and speak to other people there, meet other people, but I couldn't go in. And again, I didn't have enough cash to go into the deeper villages and speak to the, you know, those that actually practice practice African spirituality. Now, by the 17th century, Frey artists were creating bronze, stone, and terracotta sculptures, some of which are in museums in Euro in Nigeria, Europe, and, and North America. Well, we both agree that they stole it from here, but that's a topic for another day. I hope one day they do return these artifacts back to us, to our heritage. Now, the artistic of Professor of Ife began, began to wane in the late 1500s. Producer has a question. Okay. Okay, so there is talks that some countries are returning um, artifacts that were stolen from Africa. Yes. So how true? Yeah, they, are, you... they have been saying that, but UK hasn't returned. Germany hasn't returned. Some countries in Europe haven't. Uh, some countries in North America haven't. And as a matter of fact, yeah, that reminds me too, like Brother said, remember the story of Olukumi? In Cuba today, there's a festival they celebrate. It's highly likened to the Yoruba festival that started in Ile Ife by a woman who was kidnapped and taken there to that part of the world, which is Cuba today. She taught them and she finally escaped, but she had already taught them most of the Yoruba culture. And if you research it, you're not going to find Olukumi. What you find is Lukumi or Lukuma. I don't know how they pronounce it in Cuba. But if you see them actually do that festival, it's the same thing as what Yorubas do in Ile Ife today. Yeah, so that's that. Now, finally, like I said, their artistic program began to win in the late 1500s as political power and wealth shifted to neighborhood kingdoms such as Bini and Oyo. Remember, after they shifted to the Bini Empire, the Oyo Empire started winning because people had to move, they needed to trade to make more carries then. I think they use carries and no money. Now, the major, one of the major things in Ile Ife today is the University of Bafemi Aulowo University, which was founded in 1962. And it was restructured to be restructured to its present name on, the, on May 12, 1987. And one of the major nationalists to come out of Ile Ife is Chief Oba, late Chief Obafemi Aulowo. So that's what I have on Ile Ife. I, I wish I could actually talk to more guys, but unfortunately, you know, it's capital intensive. So, if you have other information to add, please let me know in the comment section. Talk to your boy, Mr. Facts. Tell me what you think. If you think I'm talking rubbish, let me know. I won't block you. I'll just smile and tell you to do your research too. If you think I'm making sense, give me a thumbs up. Like this video, share it so people get knowledge. I mean, spread the knowledge. It's all love. I'll see you in the next video.